all right uh, what we have here is your adventure works data warehouse database right i'll drop the link for this uh, installation within this uh, video itself uh, so i'm going to be using the dim sales reason table this is the table that we're going to be playing around for the rest of this video right we have four different columns here in this table sales reason key sales reason amount sales reason type and then sales reason name right so these are the four different columns we have uh, first I would like to show you guys a lag function right so before that I wanted to show you how you can visualize that lag function right I just made a quick uh, 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 pictorial of that so this is all the lag function is uh, how it's gonna work is basically uh, it's gonna apply the lag function onto any of these columns that you specify in this case I have applied your lag function on your sales reason name right so that's what you have here. You have your demo even been uh, lagged by one. Uh, magazine advertisement is again lagged by one. Manufacturer is lagged by one. So basically, demo even, which should have been one in its uh, input column, is now in number two, right? Because it's a lag of one. And then magazine advertisement is again uh, lagged by one. Manufacturer is lagged by one. And all the way, right? So I'll show you guys a use case of this. It's an uh, interesting use case, right? So let's take a look into see how we can program this before that. Um, so there is this function called lag so this is the function you have to be using so I'm just gonna right now lag the sales reason name uh, here so I'm just gonna recreate the same picture that I shown you guys right so I'm gonna lag it by one right it's gonna it can accept three arguments uh, so one is your uh, input column second one is the amount of rows that you wanted to it to get lagged Right, so and here I'm just gonna say it as one, and then the third call, third argument is basically your default column, right? So in the third argument, do not worry about it. We'll come back to that. But first, I want to show you guys how this can work. So the over clause. This is an important clause in your SQL analytics, right? Uh, any analytical function that you use is gonna be obviously using the over clause. I'll explain you what this does. Um, but before that, let's take a look in the syntax. So I'm gonna put the order by command, right? Uh, control C, Control V, and then put an alias name for that. Let's just call it as output. Uh, oops, output. Um, output lag or something, right? So what I have written is basically. Uh, so this is a lag function call. So I'm just. It's a built-in built function. You can see the. You can see the arguments just given there. Uh, so it needs an expression it needs an offset what is an offset that you wanted to uh, lag this so i'm going to say the offset as one right and then there is a default value which will come uh, and then there is an over, over clause which you have to use and then you have to order by at least one column within your uh, within your table right so here i'm just ordering by my um, no sales reason key table i can again order by descending or ascending uh, uh, the default is ascending so I'm just gonna run this to show you guys all right so if you see here the output is here again very similar output uh, the offset is one so the sales reason name is being offset by one in your output lag function right that's what we uh, did right now right so this is a basic one um, what you can also do is if you are if you have let's say uh, your sales reason type if you see here is your uh, categorical column let's say you wanted to uh, la offset this based on this uh, sales reason type column how do you do that right I'll show you right now what I mean so I wanted to uh, first order by this column you see here sales reason type has three different categories marketing other and then promotion right so if I wanted to offset my output column based on the categories that I have in my sales reason type how do I do that right so I'll show you right now so that is where you use the partition by clause so partition by clause is basically it's gonna partition this table right or it's gonna uh, slice this table into different pieces based on this uh, given columns category categorical values and then it's gonna apply this function whatever you specify here on top of that right so you just say partition by partition by and what is that categorical column right sales reason type Just specify your categorical column right uh, 
now let's again re take a look into the syntax uh, just once again so you have your lag function i obviously you have your uh, input column that you wanted to offset and what is it offset value it's one in this case and then you have your over clause uh, and then you have your partition by right partition on a given categorical column and then order by sales reason uh, key right you can uh, order by any con column but uh, order by is mandatory it's a mandatory uh, com uh, mandatory argument you have to put this so just order by any of that so it's a good thing to always order by your sales reason key or the or any of your key column right so um, so this is what i have here let's try to execute this uh, all right so what you have here is basically an output after the partition has been applied right so marketing is one partition so within this partition it is applying the lag offset you see here within this partition it is applying the offset uh, magazine advertisement becomes second television becomes third demo even becomes fourth right and within the next partition with this which is the other it's going to do the same work so price becomes second manufacturer becomes third review fourth quality fifth right and promotion will be treated very similar uh, to that as well right so uh, uh, that's what happens uh, when you do your partition so why you have your null values here you see Whenever there is null value, it means that there is no other uh, row before this magazine advertisement, or before this price, or before this promotion. Because uh, if you take a look into this, the first null is basically obviously there is nothing else before that, right? Second null, you might think the there is a sponsorship. Why is sponsorship not put here, right? But as I mentioned, when you partition this, it is going to treat this partition which is the other this whole piece right that is basically it's going to treat it as like a, you know you can think of like one separate data set so within this within this data set it's going to apply the lag function so according to that so within this data set there is nothing before price right that's why it's null similar to the promotion promotion is the only record though it's the only record it's one of the cat data categories you have in your uh, you know partition by clause so uh, there isn't anything before on promotion so that's why it becomes null right so how do i replace this null so if i don't want to see null what usually you can do is you can either call it as like you can put like integer value you can just put like uh, replace uh, the nulls by one or two like that so it'll all be replaced by one which is not a good approach what usually uh, yeah, it's good approach is to uh, put the default value as your input column name itself right so this one whenever there is a null just replace that null with whatever you have in your input column which is uh, here i'll show you so these were the null values in the previous ones so these were replaced by whatever you have in your input right that's what happened so that's the default uh, argument that you have here right so, so that's what we saw here so that's a lag function for you um, it is basically offsetting your uh, input columns uh, it's creating a new column and then it's offsetting your input column by whatever uh, offset uh, value that you are saying by one or you can even do two it's going to offset by two you see here uh, let me take the partition off and show you so if you see and then also i'll take the default it's easier to take a look see when i say uh, offset by two it is basically offsetting it by two price becomes third on promotion fourth magazine fifth so everything is offset by two so that's what uh, lag function is um, the next one i wanted to show you guys is a lead function right um, lead is just the opposite of this which i will show i'll just want to show you a pictorial of that so magazine advertisement which was supposed to be number two in your input column now becomes number one in your output column right and manufacturer which is supposed to be number three in your input becomes number three number two in the output and then likewise whatever you have there is going to be uh, going one up the ladder in your output column so that is your lead function and syntax is very similar you just need to replace this lag by lead everything is same it again takes your input column name right and then it also takes your uh, offset offset value i can just show you the uh, see here 
it takes uh, for the lead it takes the expression it takes the offset and it takes a default value so um, so lead let's just lead your sales reason name by one so it's everything is same and then let's just replay rename this as output lead right all right so uh, expected output right so on promotion which was supposed to be number two is offset by one becomes number one in your output column magazine number three becomes number two television advertisement number four becomes number three all the way right so that's what we have again you can do the same partition here partition by then you can call your categorical column right always remember partition works best whenever you have a categorical column so sales reason type is my categorical column so I'm just gonna push it inside that and very similar output, right? So within this marketing uh, uh, magazine advertisement, right? So there isn't anything uh, above that, right? So that's uh, left off. Television advertisement becomes one. Demo event becomes two. Sponsorship becomes three, right? And then for this one, I have there is nothing below this within this marketing partition. There is nothing below sponsorship, so it's left as null. So that is where you can, uh, you know. And put your default value as sales reason name right and it's gonna do that it's gonna just replace wherever there is null it's gonna replace it whatever you have um so that's about uh, lead function lead and lag, lag function now i want to show you guys what is the use case of this so we are doing all this but what is the use case of this right uh for showing that i just wanted to show you show you guys the use case of that based on the sales reason type column Lag, just put it as you know, just like that. Um, I'm just going to apply my lag on my sales reason type, and then you know, for the visuals, I wanted to you know show this reason type here, and then I'm just going to shuffle these two columns. So let me put this here. Sales reason type comes here. Okay, so I have sales reason key, sales amount, sales reason name. So this comes third. Then sales reason type so third becomes fourth and then my output column right output uh, out lag right all right so that's a uh, very similar i'm not going to partition right now just going to keep it as is and uh, you can always do partition and uh, it's not a big deal but i'm going to show you what is the use case of this right uh, whenever you wanted to compare your row your first row with your second row right or with your second row with your third row third with fourth fourth with the fifth right what you will do you can do like a lot of self joins bunch of all these complicated joins which is going to be very time consuming not very good in performance right so that is exactly what is overcome by your uh, uh, you know analytical functions right see the third row what you have in marketing uh, it's just right here just right here and uh, we can just directly compare so if you're comparing row two and row three, you're just comparing column uh, this column versus your you know your input column with your output column. That's it. So I'm gonna write a case statement. Case to uh, uh, create another column basically. I wanna say if there is a match between these two, then put it as one. If there is no match, then put it as zero. Right. So let's go ahead and do that. So case when sales reason type is equal to this output right um, so so this is I cannot use this uh, column alias name here because it's not a physical column right you see here in your um, in your table you only have four columns here these are the physical columns so this is not a physical column I did not create this column within the schema so this column is runtime column so only when it executes this column gets created so I'm just gonna use the full function itself to compare because if I use this argument, if I use this one, it's gonna throw me an error here. I'll show you um, case when sales reason type is equal to output lag, then say one, else say zero, and end my case statement. I'm just gonna put them in a brace and keep a name for that. Let's say compare, right? if I run that you see 
invalid column name output lag so because it's not able to identify hey i looked into this table but there is no column called output lag right so that's exactly what it is telling here right now because there isn't any physical memory for this column so i'm just going to uh, call the runtime itself runtime whatever is getting executed the full function itself and then put them in the brace that's it and now if you go all right so when you execute it it's basically do the comparison right so this uh, when sales reason type is equal to this uh, output uh, it's keeping it as one so what it shows is basically so there is a overlap whenever there is overlap and if you want to count those values you use this one so let's say in, in your use case is my uh, rows repeating or not right is my uh, in my given column is my rows repeating how do i find that right so uh, you know so some some cases you want it to get repeated in that case you will say that uh, uh, you know uh, your uh, then condition would be zero and else condition would be one right so in this case i just wanted to find what are the intersecting um, uh, rows so i'm just going to say uh, then is one and else is zero because i can count whatever is getting uh, uh, intersected and then i can know handle them separately how i can count it i'll just write an with statement here i'll just say with result as i'm just gonna put them in a brace and then i can write another select statement select start from result you see so this result i can use it here uh, where you can say compare right compare is my new column name compare is equal to one right so when i execute this it's only going to show me the column the row number four row number six and then row number eight and then row number 10 right these are the ones that's getting you know having an intersection basically these are the rows they are having an intersection just execute it and off you go so these are the rows i need to be i need to treat separately right so this is what uh, is my final analysis so um, yeah so that's what we have that's the advantage of using your uh, lead and lag function right so in the next video we'll talk about the first value and last value so if you have any questions or if you have used your uh, lead and lag functions let me know in the comments so if you have any questions if you tried it if you have any questions let me know in the comments and i can help you thank you